What's up guys? My name is Reef, I'm with Canvas Asylum. I'm gonna explain the fundamentals of the exposure triangle. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's very simple, all right? You have your aperture, your shutter, and your ISO. All right, I'm gonna break this down real fast. ISO sucks the most. It's gonna pump the most ambient noise. It's fundamentally making the sensor absorb more light artificially. So most cameras have dual base ISO if you're using a higher end camera. For example, the R5 is what I'm using here. It has a dual base ISO, one at 800, one at 2500. That means that that has the highest dynamic range within those areas when you're shooting. So on the camera, when you are adjusting for photos versus video, I'm gonna break this down really simply. Photos, you can break a lot more rules in camera where you can't really with video. So with photography and everything else, I'm gonna load this up so you guys can see. Um, and Charlie, if you wanna get in on this really fast. So basically, if you look, you can see how it's overexposed, right? This lens goes all the way to f1.8. Now, if I want to, I can boost my shutter all the way up to one over 8,000. And I could take a picture. And I'm at base ISO of 200. It's the lowest this camera will go, okay? Now, I'm shooting in RAW, so it doesn't really matter in terms of your exposure and everything else. As long as everything is not clipping within the image, you can get by with it. But if I was to take a video with this, and I'll show you guys really fast what that would look like, it's gonna be super crazy choppy and really, really not good, okay? So the fundamental basics when you're looking at video versus photography, with photography, you can break down everything Put your camera into your base ISO. Now, if you're shooting in direct sunlight, I suggest that you get an ND filter. Now, there's an ND filter on the camera that Charlie is using right now. If you're shooting on 120 frames per second, or 100, 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, the rule of base for video is that you wanna double the shutter. This is so that you have smoother video that's actually usable. Now, stay tuned for our advanced segment. If you wanna to go to our Patreon, you'll be able to get the full extended version of all the tips and tricks, how to use these as filmmakers to your advantage.